B, a uh, mid to B. Just go mid. But uh, the bomb is over towards that A main, and oh, flick of the mouse, D-Hurt does not connect there. Yeah, but they have to stay silent in a hall. That donut player would hear everything, and D-Hurt doesn't. Taking that space away from him, though, and he's going to be vulnerable to so many different angles of assault. Smoke will arrive. D-Hurt dancing with them. It's up to the next on the play is Hades. A flash in. Thought he has vision and has the frags. Clawing it back, though, even for a second before the frags do connect for Plopsky and Rez. And now an armored duelly for Snappy. Two already to the good. Would need to leave this round with Close. four. And yeah, Snappy one from him does make it realistic. And oh. Rez, okay. Fight just charging in. If he fumbled his lines for just a second, that could have been... Just lucky. He gets to have that one in his hands. And we've seen him do some... Devastating things with that so far. Now, he's tasked with middle right now. In NIP, they've gone back to the regular script here. The B bomb site on the docket as they've mounted on up on the boost. They're going to crawl ahead of that with hampers. They just want to walk on in here. It is just Doto. Two tags. It revealed that M4, but successfully finding the lurk of mid. Hampus should have a lot to do here and already deals with one. The nade looking close for Doto's position. They strike successfully. And yeah, really just hinging on a hero one out of Sphinx, and he is so close! Oh, oh nearly! Nearly two! Plopsky's holding the blood, he tries to be defended. Device has locked him down. But they've been handed something they can at least dig their teeth into. So low, oh, so low. low. These body shots can connect, never mind a headshot. D has put that in. Confirms ramp, knows where they both are. The no armor 1v2, just demanding a little too. It was their map choice in the best of three. Gonna see a lot of this donut molly coming on out from both teams actually and hampus come on now we've seen you in mid before only with a usp the glock dispelled immediately and oh, it doesn't look like it is gonna get too out of control device able to mop up the mess here damage done to a few and in the meantime they've been able to walk the bomb into b just dota to clear on out and hard to hit the shots with the usp panic spray and that's about all they'll have to say in this one. So, the three players alive for Ants are just looking for damage here. Sphinx does have a Deagle. You would like to see that one sing. And look, he's been looking good. Him and Deha, they've been uh, the consistent driving force, I would say, for Ants. Hades, when he chips in with that AWP, he can look deadly. Snappy with moments, Dodo with clutches. I, I think that it's all been working for Ants here. And maybe not anymore. The stack dismantled with ease. Device grabs himself two more kills. And the aforementioned Spinks, the last man standing. Representing Israel at the Major, right? So uh, obviously a, a big thing for the region. We have Flames over there in OG. They couldn't quite make it. A couple of regions that just have, you know, one individual as their representative. Uh, Israel being one of them. 26 in total. 26 in total. Yeah. Global offensive for sure. Uh, well, the guns are out. We're fast through mid here. The extinguish is on. And smoked off. Spinks can't do anything about that. Look how quick this is. Hampus is so fast top mid. Yeah, but Rez is surely not expecting this. And yeah, strafes into the AWP and Hades does just to look to pull the plug, take the advantage and it's extended by Snappy, leaving the bedroom and opening up onto ledge. Now, Plopsky and Linus, they do want and to pursue a plan. They're hanging around here on the A smoke and it won't last for forever. Plopsky on the plateau for a second and... Oh. Yeah, missed shot out of Hades, but he's not going to make the same mistake twice. Well, doesn't get better for your first gun round than that. So they can't hedge, and you can see, actually, that was a deep main smoke, sorry, uh, thrown out. They've, they've thrown a deep main smoke towards A and a deep B long smoke from spawn here, Ents. Interesting. Yeah, that's going to give them a lot of room to work with here. You can Look see at that. It stalled them out in both quadrants of the map here. Now, Hampus has gone on through. He's confirmed that there isn't any aggression towards lane, but the swing is good. Snappy converts onto res, and now we have a four on five. Oh, that's nerdy. Well, that's really nice. Oh, so well. It must be ba they must be able to do that from a lot of different spawns there. Because you spawn on that back wall. Sphinx steps out. Device is dead. Oh, the timing was perfect on that as well. Device focused on red room, which is where Sphinx has previously been. This time tucked in, and he uses it to great effect. And Hampus managing his angles, I was going to say, well, but Hades didn't get anticipated. They've been able to isolate all of these fights almost individually here. So this is great from Ents. Forcing the jewels, getting the kills, and not flustered whatsoever. You said last round was good in terms of not taking any damage. This one's looking similar. This is a, a great way to bounce back after losing Pistol in those early four Soneco rounds. Uh, Plopsky and LNZ needing to find something out of this. There's still a lot of time on the clock. 45 seconds. 
coming back through T-spawn, silently through the water, just not to give away their rotations here. And if we take a bit of inventory on the CT positions right now, you've got Deha over towards A at the big box slash temple position. Two watching down on mid. Spinks, one of them. Top mid, Hades with the AWP. So they're going to clamp down on this right here. NIP, maybe better off saving. May not get the chance to. Nice find for Spinks. And they suspect he wasn't going to be isolated from the pack. And there is the second. Too many freebies and we're barreling out mid. Oh, yeah, that's so aggressive. It looks like Spinks is handling Oh, he's up for the ace. Yeah, that's a quick one. Who needs vision when you've got swagger? Hampus has flashed there, showed up in the feed as well as a bit of a team flash onto his teammates. So hard to get that one quite right. And Deha spots him out. Do you want to allow Spinks to come over? You want to let him get the ace? Because he's on his way, but Dare you. Yeah, it takes that one mid. I'm loving what I'm seeing here from Ents on this CT side. Are they going to respect this? Are they going to creep forward? This would be very telling of the type of calls Hampus. Straight through. Straight through. The ball's on that. Well, this is going to throw the timing off a little bit for Ents. Yeah, I mean, it really does rest a lot on what Hades can do on this A site. Yeah, great progress on the initial test of B, but here he comes. Oh, Double. wow, you don't get better. Hades not with one, but two with a single bullet. Again, NIP on the back foot, and it's like looking like a bit of a tailspin from them. That's the first frag we've seen from the ninjas in three rounds. Oh, Ollie's in there. Lovely man. I'll teach you some German if you're interested. That's I am. Dot GG. Slash fan camp. Oh, they've already got the opening here. They've stalled out any progression NIP wanted to make. And I think at this point, you might just want to find a kill. Just allow your individuals to see if something comes their way. But this position being played from Spinks, he's the trapdoor late. He's done it a couple of times now. So it's making mid very oh, difficult. Oh, oh. Snappy pushes on out, gets himself a double. And now it's just LNZ. It, it really did start competitive here, but you put these last five rounds together, one kill in five rounds now. We'll, we'll keep count of this. Don't worry. It's, it's well, that is one. Two, two in five. Two, two kills in five rounds. Campus. Oh, you had intent there, but you can see that the flames will completely nullify anything. Quick, a boost. Your standard start. Snappy's been catching good timings on his. Oh, wow. That's one way to do it. Device. Puts his name in the feed and Doto's head to the deck. And they've got the site. They should be getting a plant here. So this is going to be a real different flavor to it. Hades has caught the Hampus oh, Aggress just. and just in the... Wow, Flicky strikes into res. He knows there's a lot more where that came from. Plopsky goes hunting for it. Undeterred and unflashed. Line is posting another. Snappy on this flank. He will be checked and device oh. is furious at this point. Yeah, that's a big round. The second AWP here. Okay, so that's a mix-up. More presence towards mid. Spinks, the man being tasked with that time and time again. Cave smoke, so ledge is a problem. Yeah, and look at Spinks mixing it up as well. Like, he's not going for his typical position. Could lead him to an advantage. And again, Dotos this time the opening death with his AWP. And the site's open for business. Quick on this again. Very quick on this. Will Hampus fall foul to Hades two rounds in a row? The answers are resounding no. Bomb loose. Snappy got a lot on his plate here and... Can't go anywhere. No, it's up to Spinks to save him. And Rez is ready. Okay. Okay. That timeout has led to the NIP really returning the favor here. Device leading by example, followed quite swiftly by some sharpshooting out of Rez and Hampus. Well, the difference makers in these rounds here have been the opening kills, right? Because those two rounds in a row, they managed to get the opening both times onto Dota. And before that, they only had one opening kill in the first few rounds of play. So that's the change. And Enzo are going to have to do everything they can to make sure that doesn't happen anymore because he's on his own. There's no trade potential. Nobody's helping Dota out with the CT setup that Enzo are rocking with right now. Snappy very committed to cave and lamps and Dota on his lonesome. Deha looking for the save. And as you can see by the radar, nobody's close to him whatsoever. So the M4, no dramas. We'll get to hold on to that. But now I'm curious to see what this CT changeup is going to be. You can hear the... Immediately demanded some respect. And this one could be very telling. An extinguished early Molotov and counter util drop. Peeking around the smoke. He's brave for this. There are as many bodies just behind that smoke. And his nade does look well placed. Snappy, aggressive. Device has an angle. Just on the edge of that smoke, and Hampus has taken a gamble. I mean, he loves the idea of being in Red Room early. It's a question of timing, though. Spinks, again, has been... Brilliant for Ence's mid-hold. 
becomes a gamble here though, right? Because when Hampus goes to clear this, it's usually dry, right? Do you clear, clear left or do you worry about your right hand side? It's a 180 clear. And there it is. You can just see how difficult it is trying to get into that position without any utility to flush out the close corners. So Sphinx actually pushing forward through that smoke. This is very, very brave. That pot shot was so close to the mark as well. So close to the money. Half They're not going to expect this. This is going to be a very quick flank and it's up to Dodo to delay. Need this, gets this, gets them both. And Sphinx is so ahead of the, what their timing in their heads is. He heard like clear. he's got cleared. LNZ hyper aware. Now we're talking. Two on two. Linus tasked with the plant. Oh, Hades, yeah. Rightfully cautious. Oh. Nearly strikes as Rez clears the space. Spotting him out. Hasn't chosen to pull the trigger. Perhaps enough of a distraction. Just as Rez averts his gaze. Linus playing for the team here to get the bomb down. Maybe even playing for the clutch. I've seen multiple clutches out of this man on this site. Hence, deny three this time from Dota, which is probably really good for his confidence after the, the way NIP have broken through. Not only does it buck the trend of the rounds that have been won, but it also bucks the trend of giving up the opening kill. Because snapping up, Red House, the smoke's on off and the bips in mid happens as fast. Oh yeah, I wonder if Hades is ready for that. Club close seems to be his specialty. And he's dealt with the aggressive Swede. Speaking of aggression, yeah, snappy. In the pocket. Doesn't really. Oh, not the hardest of clears. Counter spray does connect. Klopsky on notice. Down to 30. Oh, well, back towards B they go. You can see the bomb. Just outside those doors. LNZ going to join the party here as well. Two players passive on the site currently. Sphinx and Dodo. Their rotation is far away. He's got a smoke, but he's not in a position to delay them here. At least not with his. They'll be dropping out theirs. It's, in, it's going to be interesting to see how Dota reacts to being smoked off. Because otherwise, you're going to have to just be playing for the retake. It makes sense. Haven't smoked off. They haven't. And he gets a free spray. One for one. Spinks makes it clear that's the last of the site. Oh, the perfect pop flash. Confirming device. Tagging him a little. Counter flash is turned. And that had to be it. Spinks down, another big scalp from Device. He's now been humble. D her 1v3. Time for his moment. Could be time. Ops for the AK. Is 18 bullets enough? Just worried about round. And the strike from Rez is. How many smokes are down on middle here? Good awareness from Plobsky that round, you're right. Four kills, uh, sorry, four smokes in total. Oh, we're into B. Hold up a second, Hampus. That was really quick, mate. Oh, he's so dead. What are you supposed to do? Snappy provides, and never mind, through the smoke, he strikes. Only device. Wow, what a quick turnaround that was. It looked so bad until it didn't. Doto pushing through his own utility, catching them as they're looking the wrong way. The silencer perhaps even aiding that project. And now, well, do I start a project of his own? The... 1v4, starting at Donut. It should be a freebie right here. He's not going to clear. Imagine if he lets him go. Not fancy any fancy footwork. He'll just take a first frag. The call is mid. And there is still 60 seconds, right? So depending on if device's intentions, he might want to just plant some seeds of doubt by waiting it out. You can see they've adjusted for that info. They've got one of the three in pursuit of info T. Very hard clear. Yeah, too hard for him. Just perfect angle. Indication is we're heading back towards that mid position. Fast on this. Oof, yeah, and the extinguish is quick too. Hades flustered. Sphinx provides only the one and getting run down. Look at that from Rez. The two mid players gone. Snappy's perhaps been spotted out as well. It looks like Device is well aware. And they know what Snappy likes to play. So space has been taken. Dota was also regularly identified towards the B site. So they've got... A pretty safe assumption here. Oh, the molly trying to take a gamble. Should be a save here. They just need to hold on to these guns. I know Snappy's coming on over, but as I mentioned, the money's not really there. So, hence, having to stomach this, the chase is already coming. Device already pushed through cave and, well, he's heard all this, hasn't he? Another kill for Device from the shadows. Oh, look at Sharp now. What they brought into the second. Oh, NIP are going back towards A, though, and we've seen things for a lot of teams get unraveled against even the best of buys, and this is 
one of those scenarios where it is just the pistols, one M4, an SMG. Yeah, I mean, unless you start charging through the smoke, that D her is not going to get you far. Well, we've seen teams do it yesterday. It happened uh, in the favour of Astralis, even against Dents, in the few rounds that they were able to muster here. But the smoke has faded. Patience is a virtue. And Hampus, he's got the duel against the biggest gun over towards Dona. Look how perfect that crosshair placement was. Oh, and he does execute Plopski. This could get bad. This could get awkward already. Two bodies drop for the ninjas. This A-site, it's a problem. Rez doing his best, oh. but D is doing better. Those shots are absolutely cracking and only device left. He'll finish it off. Damn. Binks on the other time with 17. <laughs> so uh, they're standing out right here in a big way. But no one else is in double digits. I guess I'd always keep track of device's numbers. I hadn't realized no one else is even remotely close. He's done a big part of those T-side conversions. Snappy, this is his pistol and device, this is his map. Quiet on Mirage, Chad, but coming in absolutely. All guns are blazing. Spings takes down Device before he can get anything more done. Completely blind. Yeah, and already falling apart for NIP. It'll have to be Rez, Plopski, LNZ as well. Those stray bullets into the smoke. D is on notice. He's just trying to take some gambles here and hard oh, to track. Messy. Oh, very messy. Hades not going to be complete. To the Force by Wars and more of this. Everybody who wants to rock mid control needs to throw those. And oh, okay, NIP. They've copied the Movistar Riders here. Limping that smoke forward for Hampus to get in control. I think they liked what they saw. That was Mopoz, right? That was yeah. uh, getting away with that time and time again. Yeah, he didn't see Sphinx whipping that out. Didn't need to. He did a great job regardless on his mid hold. Oh, device. He just wants to keep fighting here. And you can understand why. Same strap. Why not? Let's rinse, let's repeat. CT smoke though, there is one that will stop the easy clear of that close corner. Abbas has to, oh, sorry, Plopsky has to fight, he has to push. Molotov out, and they're actually not committing. This is so cheeky. Rez will surely catch a whiff of this. And he will be in there in time to catch them off guard. Spinks now has the rotate on lock, so Rez is the only possible disturbance. And those shots are not bad. It's only the one. Sphinx has this rotate on lock and key. And maybe both of them as well. LNC's spotted out. And oof, there you go. A scout and a CZ for it. A very hard clutch. And yeah, just shy of the mark. So now, this is the full eco from the Ninjas. How dare you? Actually, a Deagle and a Zeus. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, they've kind of... Count, like the, With everything being viable in Counter-Strike now, and with everybody understanding exactly what they can and can't purchase and how it's going to impact their buys, Oh, uh, gone are the days where, you know, you can have terminology that sticks, like a full eco now. This is kind of the closest thing we get, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. So, I, I was only poking for No, I know, but it, like for, for, for me, just to give people a bit of an understanding, back in the day, like ecos, you had ecos or decos. You didn't have P250s, Tech 9s. You had a co the, the compact in like 1.6. But people didn't use those pistols. There was jewelies in 1.6 and source and stuff. You didn't use those pistols. They were a joke. You would use the AK-47, the M4, the AWP, the USP, the Glock, and the Deagle. And then we got the Galil and the Famous, and then you'd use those as well. Right? You didn't have the same amount of weapons to use here, and I think that's one of the great things that CSGO... Yeah. Uh, what they said early was they wanted to make as many guns viable as possible for different scenarios, and that's what the balancing's all about. Sure, and it's worked wonders, you know, and I think it was easy, especially for the dirty old boys to turn their nose up at the idea of running around with a gun they've never used in their career. But like a Krieg or an Orc. Sure, well, that's more extreme examples. <laughs> <laughs> uh, device. He's got it. There he is. He's got it straight through the wall. We're taking a look at the defensive middle. Just a molly to stall them out and towards A. Ents are very fast on this. Oh, I like that. We'll see. Rez is smoked off. He'll be calling for aid. The rotate's on its way. And I'm interested to see how they lock down Temple. Is it just body? Wow, device with the vision. Obscured by the flame, but he's actually gone through it and will be punished for that. That's beautiful. That's, that is actually really nice because the way that they've gone about that, they get Temple control. If you saw them yesterday, did that shallower front sight smoke wall. They didn't do that here. No. They've just gone in with standard smokes and they've gone for deeper smokes and mollies in towards that temple position because you need to have control. They have donut control, temple control, and the sight. That's great out of events. There's a lot of A takes we've seen over this event that just fall flat because you don't have space. NIP, I mean, the individuals, you know, when we checked in on the half, it was just the one player. I mean, only Rez has managed to pull himself 
into the double digit realm, aside from Device. Hampus has been having a really tough time. When your in-game leader's having a, a poor individual game, it's usually also an indicator that he's feeling, you know, caught out on multiple occasions, maybe not just in the individual capacity. I'm in to determine how I can react. But they're still in this one. Only uh, five rounds the difference here might be extended quickly to six because it is a partial investment. Nades rain on over. Not a whole lot of damage done. Dota will be chunked on down to 655, happening right in front of our eyes. Still one nade to work with for Hampus. And they've lent four players over towards B, and that's the right gamble. That nade just shy of doing significant damage. The boost here we've seen from NIP. This can work wonders. You get to peek over the smoke. Not a common clear either. No, unlikely. Haven't done their research enough, clearly. And, well, speed Matter. control <laughs> solved the issue. With three 26. very swift frags. Yeah, he's loving life right now. He's having a huge game here, Spinks. This is... Uh, There's more to come. I don't want to say it's a breakout performance because we knew the potential of this guy before. The same with Deha, but this is like big boy games that they're in right now. This playoff bracket against some of the best teams in the world, at least that Europe have to offer. Let's say the best teams in Europe. That will probably be a better way to refine things. And he might even get 27 here. There it is. Simple as you like. Didn't even have to... Max lost bonus, sure, but rounds are... Hard to come by here. Missed mid smoke, so that one does cause a bit of a gap. Info is there for them to work with. It doesn't really matter because they're heading back towards B anyway. Imagine if you miss throw the mid smoke deliberately to try and stop the AWPA from rotating early. Well, now you're starting to get into some next level mind games, aren't you? Imagine. Well, it's fades, and so does their util. They're going to be throwing their own out now towards the site. Plopsky does need to save himself, and that's a great way to do so. Looking to hide away from their pre-fires, and who's going to connect first? Sphinx, well, only the one this time. They keep him humble. Plopsky delivers. And Hades, whoa, 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 some pace to that. He nearly walks straight on into the stack. There's three NIP players with the bomb under their control. Why not slow it down? Why not have a look around? Yeah, he can win this, right? There's so much time on the clock to isolate these fights. You're going to be smoked on off, and wow, that was only moments from hitting right there. So they still know he's over towards the B lane, and they're closing down on his position. Well, closed down. Last PGL major, it was a 360 stage in uh, Krakow, remember? Yeah, and that's, I I've still don't think Counter-Strike has got its... Uh got its fill of just how amazing that kind of stage setup. I mean, I was always disappointed just how we didn't have the crowd in Vegas for DreamHack Masters, because that was a circular stage, and it was beautiful. But understandably, people's not making that journey out there to the Nevada desert. Oh, an opening's come on in, and that was through one of these AWPs. It was Rez's orb towards that A main position. Now, if you don't have audio at home, nor do we, we're trying to get that one fixed ASAP. If you do, just think we're crazy. We do. Working on it. Lopsky. Up against Snappy. NIP have got the, Look at this push. Yeah, the lockdown. There's a real timer on this. <laughs> Everybody's here. He's already lining up another head. They might consider the flank. And no, Spinks looking the wrong way. Distracted and eliminated before Hampus can even get a frag. Guys, that was my chance. Sometimes going to be sitting there towards the T pillar. But Deha going looking. Quick on B. Catching a bullet. Liner's tucked in. Ty is going to be Plopsky again. On the spam. What a spam. Straight into the head of Sphinx. And oh, aggression. It's the recipe for success. Ends deleted. Manages the spray. It's only Hades. And this one's done. Look how effective this has become. NIP immediately returning themselves to a competitive stead. I was only joking about keeping everybody alive. But oh, OK. Yep. Oh, they get the joke too. He's with one, but but now it is just down to the pistols here. So NIP have an opportunity to get themselves up to 11, and Hampus is looking for more. Yeah, up to his aggressive antics. Let's see if he can farm a couple of these easier frags. Get the confidence flowing. Far from it. If he was to go down there, Plopsky, that could have been a snowball. Turning into an avalanche, but quite the opposite. It's nothing more than a few snowflakes. And bang. Minus deals with Doto. Gap. Sealed now down to just two. I don't know if we'll see Ents go for those faster B plays as long as you can molly off and extinguish uh, over towards the big box. Now, 
You see the Tetris Molly from Spinks there is to deny the pressure towards B lane. D has also thrown a bit of a fake over towards this A site here. So they're hoping to draw a rotation and a reaction. And they're getting the reaction. Oh, Hampus is flirting with some aggression. He's going to try and not make that smoke as it fades. Look what happened to the B defenders through the wall. Both of them just got pummeled. 40 HP for Plopski and 8 for LNZ. That was through wall banks. Yeah, they are already operating at a disadvantage. Device has to acknowledge the potential after the extinguish, the sound. He knows there's a likely duel or two to be found here on A. Oh, it's all about timing. They're across, they're across. Yeah, it's up to Deha now. He has Spinks. no idea. He has to play for his life. Doesn't want to commit. Deha's on to the big box. Oh, and that goes a big frag. Device is down and out, and hence off the back of their timeout. With the switch up, Rez does look to try and make things competitive. The mid rotation cut down. Up to Hampus here, though. Look how forward he was. We talked oh, about this bomb earlier. Carrier. He's heard the footsteps. Bomb carrier and so loud. Down goes Hades and that 3v5. That early two frags out of Ents now equalized. Look how they're dotted across the map. They have a player in CT spawn, but the oh, bomb's over wow. near T spawn. 30 seconds to piece this one together. Yeah, and Linus is actually. Going all the way around as well. How are they meant to win this? The like, kills aren't going to come their hole. way. Yeah, they're Him. actually playing the bomb. They're actually going to just hold down the bomb, and this is just falling apart for Ents. What a fantastic start. <laughs> Rez catches another in mid, and yes, Spinks, good luck, mate. You've been brilliant. And that's too much to watch. For exactly a scenario like that, so Ents made to look a little bit foolish there, considering how great it did look. But this is that bailout strategy we're talking about. You're about to see, I do believe, two shallower smokes across the front of the site. Being lined up now by Snappy and Deha. They're thrown on out. The pistols are in play here. They have to flash device off the line. Yeah, Rez is a really capable donut side orper as well. So the two orbs to defend this and the Tech Nines will start closing the gap. A miss from the Dane. Temple Molly forces him to a much more passive line. And I don't know if Spinks will get away with this. And he has again ends with the cheese. But is there anything more? Can they cut through this retake? It's brutal. Cut with every single player, only Dodo up against the whole squad. A couple of chip damage frags or shots. There's 30. No cap previously making some space and losing that one to some great open out of res. Sphinx does extinguish and has a lot of vision to work with. Extinguish both. Oh, not quite. Hades threatening an aggressive orping. This is his cup of tea. Good timing on this. I don't How think they're early. ready for it as quick. Yeah, and AWP in this position. Like, look at the angle Linus has taken. That does not favor him in the Hades versus LNZ head-to-head. -head. Especially because it's so susceptible to flashes, but Lucky Device is here to buy a bit of room. Does he want to get more aggressive than this? He will have the shadow advantage. Toxy on the box. No early indicators just yet. You're talking about a boost, maybe. Shadow. Device tracks it perfectly now. His smoke can be deployed and a miss from Hades as well. Ents oh. are getting toppled here and Device in pursuit of the 30 in reg. Here we go again. Ents needs something now and, well, desperation stations. Fast into cave. Smoked off immediately. So trying to burn out that CT util as quick as they can. Didn't hesitate, did he? Because the player could have been boosted. Device just put himself straight in the line of that, and he's actually pushing further, so he just wants to fight. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't push the issue past this. The line, he's already succeeded once, and it was Deha that went down to it. Oh. Did think about it. It's very unlikely he gets that fight. Deha has the bomb, but... Does get tagged, using that cross to... Bait and more confirmation of their suspicions that B will be the object of Ence's eye. Problem now, cancel that. The flames, oh, and they pushed. There's just enough space for Plopski to take the fight as well. Great util usage, and NIP are giving us a tutorial on how to close out a game on the CT side. This is magnificent. Oh, they have to either scamper up mid and just get stuck in this position here with... Rez's AWP now striking, and it's just Whoa. one player to find. Deha, a one on five. NIP, this has been brilliant. What a fap. And now, two opportunities to finish this here in regulation. Charging towards A and loudly. Rez will be screaming for, for aid. Hampus is there. 
But he's holding the perfect line. Doesn't quite manage to finish the job. D has Tech Nine has delivered. All right. Something to be said about this one. Util won't be perfect. For now, Donut smoked, as is CT. LNZ playing around it. Plopsky walking through it as well. Doesn't hear the plant. He would be spamming it, otherwise. Yeah, he hasn't managed to thwart that. They've already got a boost for the after plant. Surely there's no way in. They've done enough here. Spinks as well contributes. That's his 30th frag. Down goes Device. 14. Looks like we're going the full 30. Everything on the line for this. Talking of everything on the line, look at Hampus. He's already pushed the A-Halls completely. And action on B. Action stations for Device. Down he goes. Hades punishing that re-peak. But there was clear evidence that Hampus wanted his team to have early info in those A-Halls. Never mind early info. How about some early presence? Because he's pushed up. Here will be set for success if he can just resist the temptation to cross. Yeah, it looks like he's flirting with the idea here. Has a lot of utility to use right now. So if he could get a kill and drop a smoke, that would actually be better because I feel like he might get traded ends. As they start to gear up, their positions are indicative that they're setting up a bit of an execute now towards A. A top mid smoke thrown out. Deha and Snappy lining up theirs. And Hampus is pushing into the... Oh my God, the timing on that. Knocks one down. He's being swung upon, so he's hard committing. And oh, Hampus. What a delivery. He wants this done, and he finishes it by force. A great three-piece. D has been thrust into a clutch. There's an AWP on his spot, and down goes Reza. His shot suddenly, a 1v4. A little more manageable, but above the smoke. Whoa! As well, Deha could push us to OT. I thought Hampus had done enough. I think NIP thought Hampus had done enough. And all it took, one mistake punished after another, Deha. This guy does not get flustered. So he knows what he's up to. Linus is off and rotating into the site. Site boxes have been cleared out by Plopsky's uh, death. Time is a big issue here. Does that... Oh, oh, perfectly placed, perfectly placed. Would it all be better?